The reality for some 80% of India's population, there is no running water or electricity. But for 2008 Switzer fellow Dipti Vagela, this presents a significant opportunity. This is Switzer Network News. So we're trying to help these communities take advantage of their natural resources without impacting them negatively. So I work on rural uh, microhydro systems where there's a stream in the woods above the hills and we help the villagers design a system where that stream is harnessed in a small, very small dam that doesn't flood anyone's land. There's a pipeline that takes the water down into a turbine which is connected to a generator. When the water flows and the turbine spins, electricity is produced and a transmission line is made all the way to the village homes. And this whole process involves local fabricators in the nearest town and the young in, in the village who can uh, maintain the system. So if there's any problem, there's no need to call a utilities company or the government who would take days or months to reach to resolve the problem. We empower these communities to maintain these systems on their own. And finally, we want them to use the electricity for more than just lighting, which is very impactful, but how to bring basic health care, uh, basic education, irrigation, how do we utilize the electricity? So there are women in each house that have a hole on their floor, in their mud floor, there's a small hole where a baseball bat comes in and smacks in that hole where they have a handful of rice grain. And they're hulling the shell off of the rice grain each time they pound on it. Now with electricity there, they can take their big basket of rice grain put it into the mill, and within minutes they can have what it took them a day. The person who would run that rice mill would be a young boy who would otherwise have migrated to the city and would probably have ended up on the street or would have been recruited by a terrorist network. They're, they're local networks that feed off of these young people who live in rural areas who are attracted to life outside of what they have there. These communities create very little carbon because they have no uh, mechanical, anything that use fossil fuels. However, they are the ones that experience the brunt of climate change. So we want to design these systems where their watersheds are more robust. Uh, if climate activity happened, a drought or a flood, and, and it, in turn, because they're using renewable sources, they're actually making life better for all of us because they don't need the coal-powered electricity which India loves using to electrify their cities. There is a lot to learn from communities that live without technology. And there's a lot to learn in how we can empower them with technology in a way that doesn't repeat our own mistakes. For more information about this topic, please visit our website. This is Switzer Network News.